Hello there and welcome everyone, my name is Alaska, and this is episode 4 of the first season of The Walking Dead. Let's see what happens. So we finally arrived in Savannah by the looks. And it is rather deserted. It's what you'd expect from uh, Zombie Apocalypse City, really. But there is a stop sign, and a man with a gun. I can't say that the title of the episode is, uh... Very, um... Very amusing. Oh! Is that a... Oh! I thought that was a house for a second. <laughs> All of a sudden she's like, Can I have that back? Oh, am I mad with her? Because not now. Oh, Need shit! You focus. Keep your attention on the street. Okay, sorry. How's O'Neill? His legs. I think my input back. flipped out for a second. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. Um. Kenny, how much farther to the riverfront? There should be just a few more blocks up ahead. And there'll be boats there. There sure as hell better be. <laughs> there'll be boats. Have to be. Have to be. It's going to be okay. Kenny knows what he's doing. What oh. the hell? Somebody's ringing that. Are they automated? I don't think so. Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep oh, moving. Keep no God. one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. Oh, there we go. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at twenty past the hour? An an attuned one. Hmm. Oh no! Someone's somebody on the roof. There. Are you sure? I don't see anything. Uh. Hey! Hey, you up there! Damn it, Lee. Keep quiet. You're gonna... If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. I thought you said that thing didn't work. Uh, I've attracted the horde of night. Uh... Who the hell is this? Hello? Hello? I said answer me. Uh, she knows, doesn't she? Okay, maybe we should start running right about now. The hell was that? And then he's going to Some fall behind. To Sounded more like a warning. Warning not for, whom for that. Told. What are you yammering on about? Just what we needed. Bible quotes. For thee. I'm just assuming that's from the Bible now. Might be a bit pragmatic of me, but you know. Yes, okay, we've seen the zombies. Um, I'm pretty sure all the options are the same. Thank you. Yeah. Let's go, let's go. Time to move, we've got to go. Why are we stopping and giving each other, like, intriguing looks? Oh, for God's sake, Kenny. Uh, let's get him. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, uh. Yeah. A little too close, don't you think? Huh, I may have used A there. Oh, for God's sake, man, time to prove yourself. Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh, remind me to kill that guy later on. Uh, shoot, and whoa, shoot, and shoot, and let's clear away for her. Come on, get out, get out, get out! Yeah, old guy! That I can't remember the name of for a second. Let's go! Was it Charles? Guy's pretty badass if you ask me. You shut up, man! I don't know the, I don't want a bloody word out of you! Chuck, that was it! it wasn't Charles, Chuck! Oh no, he can't die, no! There's no time! We gotta go! Now! Leave no man behind! Oh. No decision then, is he? Oh, was that a scream? As in he died? 
No, can't be. Yes, an iron fence that ought to stop them. You okay? Uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. That's okay. We can manage that. We gotta get him inside. Clean him up. I agree. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Let me see if I can. Quite true. Away. Okay. Uh, remind me to kill Ben when I get the chance. Okay, uh, this is probably not the time for a feelings talk, but I'm going to do it anyway, because, you know, reasons. Do you think the dead people saw us come back here? Are they going to find us? Um... Try not to worry. Even if they saw us, they can't get in here. We did. Why can't they? We're a lot smarter than they are. Well, because they're dead, for starters. They're like dumb animals. They can't open doors. We used to have a pet hamster. One night, he figured out how to open the door to his cage, and when we woke up, he'd eaten half a box of cookies. I don't think this is quite the same, Grim. But I like the analogy. Right. This time, we're the cookies. <laughs> the writing on that kid is superb. Okay. Um, Omid and Krista. Yes. How's he looking? I'm all right. You're not all right. You've reopened your wound, you're losing blood, and God only knows what might have gotten in there. It could be infected, it could be... No offense, but you really need to work on your bedside manner. Exactly. Um... Try not to worry. It always looks worse than it really is. Except when it's a bite. Yeah, well, it's not a bite. We're gonna get you fixed up. Just get us inside the house, will you? I'm on it. Lee? All right. Thanks. No problem. Hmm. Always count on me. Be inside soon? Yeah. Not much longer now. Okay, let me take a look. It's getting cold out here. <laughs> um okay. Where's the rest? Ben's over there. Okay, let's go and kick the shit out of him. Ben. Um about what happened back there on the street. I know. I don't know what happened. I just froze up. Hasn't that ever happened to you? Just hear what I'm saying to you. If you put that girl in danger again, it won't be walkers you have to worry about. I hear you. How do you think Kenny's holding up? Hmm. I don't know. It's, it's like all he can think about is finding a boat. He definitely doesn't want to talk about Katja and Duck, at least not with me. Yeah, well, I figure that's probably for the best. Right. Think we can get in through one of these windows? Man, I don't think so. Whoever owned this place had them all barred up. Yeah, looks pretty solid. I'm gonna go check things out. All right. All right. Okay, that will have to be a future thing then. Kick the shit out of kick the shit out of bed. Not bed, Ben. Wow. <laughs> um. Anything else? Ooh, lots of stuff. A shovel. A shovel is never that useful. <laughs> That's quite the sentence. Um, let's look at the fountain. Leaves and water. Fantastic. I don't disagree with you. Oh, is that? Oh no. Just a doghouse. Looks like something was buried here. Oh no. Ooh. Actually, could that be the key? I think I want to start digging up God knows what until we find a way into that house first. Hmm, point taken. And then again, why would there be a key buried where there's a... Maybe that's the perfect disguise! Hmm. Uh, let's talk to Kenny. Um... You think maybe someone's still inside? Nah, we'd have heard from him by now, all the racket we're making. But whoever was here did a pretty good job fortifying it. Nice place to hole up. We can just figure out how to get in. Hmm. Uh. How's it coming? Find a way in yet? Door's locked up tight. Too heavy to force it without making a whole lot of noise. Maybe there's a better way in. Well, if there is, I ain't seeing it. Hey, how you holding up, man? Lee, I appreciate the interest. 
but I don't think talking about my feelings right now is going to help us get inside this house. Very true, but I wanted to exhaust all my conversation options. See what you can find. Um, well, I can. I'm pretty sure I can use that thingy that I got from the train. Bust through that. Or not? Maybe the shovel. Nope. Bust through that. Nope. 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 No way we're going to force that open. Not without making a lot of noise, at least. Okay. So bit away in. Uh, the roof. Maybe I can climb. William will be able to bust through that. Okay. Can I use that? William will be able to bust through okay. that. Okay, that doesn't work either. Okay, can I just look at it? Damn. Okay, insightful. Um, so the gates, no option. Uh, these guys no. Uh, these guys are no help. Um, burr, 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 burr. can I go back here? Is there something here? No, there is not. Is there something in the shed? The shed is non-existent, it would seem. Um, okay, there's definitely something that I'm missing. I'm almost positive that I need to climb. Oh, can I use the tree? Nope, 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 nope. Um, <laughs> oh, aha! William will be able to bust through that. What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked too. Interesting. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? Exactly. I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only. Uh, that's the why the closed. spade is there, and that's why I need to dig up the dog. Every day's a school day. All right. So, where's the dog? Yeah, it's buried and I'm having to dig it up. Is it going to turn into zombie dog? That would be the most frightening thing on this planet. And I'm saying that with a horde of zombies at the door. Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. Exactly. Ah, uh, Clem, not exactly the moment to talk about feelings. Cookies and donuts, love. Nothing you want to see. Um whatever it is, it's been here a while. You I can smell it from here. What have you said? Clementine, honey, come sit with me in a need. Yeah. Work. Good woman. She understands. Right. Oh god, the smell. That was some fast digging. Uh, is that going to come alive? Somewhere. I can't get it off. Probably not going to come alive. Okay, that is not cool. Jesus. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. <laughs> you sure you? I said I'm fine, okay? She's just rich. Like, yeah, I'm fine. Superb. Okay, can we close that up maybe? No? Okay. <laughs> See, I wasn't so wrong when I said that the key was buried there. It's funny how that works. Okay, so we get the doggy door open. Yes! God damn! Yes, but it's still a doggy door. Okay, she might be dog shaped, but that's dangerous. No. Looks like it's been empty a while. I'm gonna have to send Clem in. And then they are going to come over the wall and it's going to be a very stressing moment. No, 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 no. You're gonna to have to send Clem in. It's no good. I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can. Yep, there we go. Uh Clem, what do you see in there? People, get close to the door, please. It's a very bad idea to stand over there. Yeah, good girl. <laughs> uh. Good work, Clem. But don't go shooting off like that without asking first, okay? I was just trying to help. But you I did know. good, but you I was worried. Good. You just had me worried there for a minute. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? Yes, yes, we can. My leg's starting to hurt like hell. Let's go, let's go, Looks people. Okay Move here. inside. Everybody in. No stressing moment. Good. 
Looks like we've got a wee fortress of our own. Good. Very good. Uh, but this looks ominous to say the very least. Ah, oh, it's like. Oh no. Sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. Oh Jesus, he looks like hell. Feel better already, just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. Oh, that was a doggy on the portrait as well. That's super sad. So, when were you going to tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's oh, working. Jesus, Kenny. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I was going to tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. Yeah, basically. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that and then try to warn us about it? How much sense does it true, though. Anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play games with you. Whoever it was, <laughs> seems like they're following us. I don't like being followed. All the more We're reason true. to get on a damn boat where we can't be followed. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. Um. We need to make sure Chuck is okay. Once it's quieted down outside, we'll all head towards the river. See if we can find him. Deal? Suit yourselves, and I'm not going to wait around too long for someone else to grab up those boats. That's our ticket out of here. Yeah, but then what? We'll... Place seems secure, at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> All right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. I don't know why, but somehow the upstairs area sounds scarier than the ground level. Is there anything I can do? Um. I got it. Hang out with Chris to know me until I get back, okay? Uh, she doesn't like that. I'm sorry. What for? Going through the door like that without checking first? I guess that was pretty dumb, huh? Just ask me first the next time you're gonna outsmart all the grown ups, okay? Okay. <laughs> Okay. See, I kind of hope that we find our parents, because hell, she deserves it. But I'm very curious as to how to how to they're going to react. Nothing. Hmm. That's a problem. Then again, I don't suppose we're planning to stay for too long, so is that? Well, obviously no power. The drawing. No, oh, good God, no. That's kind of sad. So sorry, Walter. All cleaned out. It does look like whoever lived here made sure that they left nothing behind. Aside from the dog, of course. But then again, who thinks about that? I'm not that hungry. Besides, I need to finish checking. Oh, is that dog food? Stairs. That dog food? Dog food, yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, so that's the staircase. We can go up there in a second. Um, let's check this door. What's behind door number one? Hmm. A closet. All clear in here. Okay. I'd leave it open, honestly. But, yeah, whatever. Hmm. Looks like they were a happy family. It's really sad to see that. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. My style. Why are there paintings like that, and why is one broken? Reasons, I guess. Okay, what's behind door number two? Toilet. Okay, good to know. Seems like a very odd place for 
Um, a closet, though. Because this looks like the living room? Okay, let's talk to hey Chris and Elmwood first. How's the house looking? Not done searching the first floor yet, but so far, so good. Hmm. How's that couch treating you, Omi? Leg feeling better yet? I'm all right. Jesus, he looks like hell. Don't think you do. Is it a bite, though? Finding this house was a hell of a stroke of luck. But it doesn't even matter. Like, if he dies, then we know it's going to happen either way. Sure. But right now, it feels like just the break we needed. Maybe our luck's starting to turn around. I believe that. I think you just jinxed it. What do you guys think about this plan at Kinney's? The guy's losing it. Look, Lee, I know he's your friend and all, but you need to be careful. That man is on the edge, and I don't know if I want to be around when he goes over it. Kenny's solid. He's just been through a lot, that's all. I hope you're right. For all our sakes. Sit tight. I'll keep checking the first floor to make sure it's safe. As Thanks, Lee. As much as I love Kenny, and as much as he's my bro, I think that Chris is right. Holding up okay? I hope this house is safe. Have you checked all the rooms to make sure? No, but I'll take care of it. Okay, should we go upstairs first, or should we check that final room? Maybe we should check that final room first, just to make sure that everybody downstairs is safe at least. Double doors though. Hmm. Did I hear something? Jesus! Jesus! What? What happened? <sighs> it was a room. Just uh, nothing. It was a room, don't worry. Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Can somebody please... Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? No, just some dog food. <laughs> I don't think that's going to help us much. If she knows who the man on her radio is, it's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Go ahead, Claire. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? Don't lose it, Kristen. I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee? Uh, what now? Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. What? Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. Stay here. No, don't stay there. Come with me. You... <clears throat> Honestly, if there was going to be a zombie, I think we'd heard by now. Kenny? Was he finally broken down? Kenny. You okay, man? I think he Jeez. got out of the adrenaline rush. What the hell is that? Oh, hold on. 